Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vintalian, and welcome back to the Chuck's Revenge, Monkey Island, Act 10. When we last left off, we just gave Wally a replacement monocle. And now, as my walkthrough hint, I am going to head straight for... Where do you want to go? Booty Island. Because we got the inv invitation, I was correct that the invitation is what you wanted to grab. And no, I don't need any more money. Also, you really gotta wonder about his navigation skills. I mean, I mean part of it's gotta be weather. I wonder what the sudden stops are for. Well, either way, you gotta say... He gives a really good deal. I mentioned this before, but all I paid was 20 pieces of eight. And that's it. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? Son, it's always Mardi Gras on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island, but I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party, so I quit. And now I watch out for the mail boat, which reminds me, I have to get back to work. Okay. What's this place for? The sign says the Booty Boutique, Mementos, Souvenirs, Artifacts. Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. I was told that these are used as a form of barter in the inner cities. Check out these balls. They're made of a fine iron cast. That's a Mark VII Devastator triple cannon emplacement. If only they'd thought to leave a hole for the fuse. <laughs> That's the legendary white whale. Never been caught, except on camps. Does it have a name? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Nothing says a whale must have a name. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. Okay. Ah, the famous ceremonial lights from the Pirates of the South Pacific. Those aren't for sale. It's a beautiful antique porcelain vase. It's a picture of a pirate with peg legs. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I got that as a gift from a man I saved a few years ago. Don't have much use for a wheel, but he said one good turn deserves another. Okay. It's ergonomically formulated to enhance stopping power. You'd look good in one of those. And they're great for parties. That's a sign I took from the famous Precipice View Road. I've never heard of it. They call it Dead Man's Drop now. 
You know, when it comes to that map piece, there is technically a way we could gain the money. But that would take way too long, so it's probably something else we have to do. That's a real ship's horn, just like the ones used on modern ships. Those are authentic scale reproductions of rotting skulls rendered in sun-bleached whalebone. There's even some loose skin to hang them up from. Oh my god, really? That's the real thing, as seen in Raiders, Temple, Holy Grail, and the Young Chronicles. It looks like Spiffy the Pinhead. It says, beware of parrot. It says, beware of parrot. Isn't he a beautiful parrot? He's preoccupied with his reflection. Beautiful. Well, we have we have parrot food, don't we? Somewhere. Yeah, right here. The bag is empty. Oh, I didn't know that. It's said that the infamous Greenbeard won that barrel from Long John Cooper in a poker game. Shame that it's empty. It's empty. Found that beauty at the bottom of the sea. She cleaned up real nicely, though. It was handmade by a good friend of mine from another island. Well, that's the gist of everything going on here. Oh. I have an eye patch in every shape. I made that myself from my last parrot. Got too noisy for me. Harsh. Well. I explored around there. Oh. I think this one's my favorite. Excuse me. You look busy. I'll come back later. Okay. So apparently we're going to need a costume later. Sunken galleons, glass bottom boat, see the world, three hour tours, sightseeing, three hour tours, see the world. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Three hour tours. Three hour tours. Well, it's good enough for me. Sunken galleons. See the world. Check it out. Capsized charters. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. Check it out. Cruises. Sunken galleons. Okay, good to know that. Sunken galleons. She can probably get us to different Sightseeing. islands. See the world. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffin. <laughs> we handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Didn't you used to be a used ship salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Valid points. Uh, 
I gotta go. See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. That. Is sunken galleons. Good grief. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Okay, now who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. In fact, they do it very well. Ah, the whole world loves a spitting contest. Come on, it's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. I'll give it a try. A volunteer. All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? Whoops, I thought this was croquet. Bye. Ooh, no, dry tongue at the last minute. Well, what about you folks? Just put your two lips together and blow. Yeah, Are I think I'll pass for now. Or not? Okay, here we are. There's the mansion. Is there anything else? Big tree. Let's go check that out. Yeah, so... Small structure will be next. Ooh. I'm gonna need to find planks, I guess. Looks like a plank stuck in a hole in a tree. Big woodpeckers. How rustic. Uh, no thanks. Only <laughs> shiny pages left in the catalog. Well, that's kind of amusing, but I need planks. Oh, I wonder if that's what I need the coffin for. Break it down into planks and use it as steps for this big tree. Well, let's go to the small structure first, and then go to the mansion. Ah! The ghost pirate LeChuck! Get a grip! Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? Ah, uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? Mm, gotta go. Keep up the good work. Didn't realize I needed a costume for the party. Well, let's go get one before I go to the mansion. Lest I get kicked out for not having one. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone. Or on reserve. Sorry. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. You look busy. I'll come back later. So I have to figure out how to get a costume. Hmm. Maybe kind of make my own. Three hour tours. I got that as a gift from a man I saved a few years ago. 
You'd look good in one of those. Uh -huh. Those are authentic scale reproductions of rotting skulls rendered in sun-bleached whalebone. Found that beauty at the bottom of the sea. I'd like to buy these pirate hats. All righty. They are 30 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. No, I have a thing about lice. Inspected by 27. Oh, come on. I used got that to be a costume. Well, now it's useless. Okay. So, I need a costume. But I don't I can't get one from him. Oh, while I'm here, might as well go to over here and try and get a coffin so I can get planks for that tree. Check it out. Check it out. Well, well, well. I knew you'd come back. My customers always do. Eventually. <laughs> I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing. When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? How much is that coffin? Well, it's complicated. Pricing here at Stan's works on a sliding scale, based on one's ability to pay, so as to make a decent funeral affordable to even our poorest customers. That's very considerate of you. So, how much dough do you have on you? I don't have much. I see. I think cremation might be more appropriate in this instance. I gotta go. See you later. Maybe sooner than you think. Okay. Three hour tours. I wonder if gaining See more cash would help me with that. Now it's a case of not so much I don't know what to do, it's where do I even start? But that's gonna have to wait till next time because it's curtain call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. Until then, that's it for-, for ugh. That's it for me! Bye bye! <laughs>